Hello everybody, welcome to another Wiz Hitman commentary with your host Wiz World 100 and... Hitman? And the game that we're going to be commentating today is uh, Sanitarium, which is one of the weekly rotation games that me and Hitman are going to do. Yeah, it'll be a, you know, Wiz does one, I'll do one, Wiz does one, I'll do one. Giving the uh, one starting now. Giving the one-two punch. Uh, originally it was supposed to be Xeno... Xeno Clash, was it? No, we don't need to talk about that. Anyway, yeah. Sanitarium. Uh, yeah. Point-and-click adventure game. A point-and-click adventure game that is... has a really unique style, or at least a very interesting style, and the story is quite engaging. I played it all the way through, and I enjoyed it. And um, here, we, here it is with us, uh, well, us commentating over my playthrough of it, where, unlike in previous uh, games I've played with us commentating, I usually play it very fast. Now I got a need for speed moment here. Wipeout! Yeah, this is the opening to Silent Hill 1, actually. The alternate Silent Hill 1. Also, another thing is, it, uh, so far the only game we, we've done where we've both played it is FTL. Sanitarium is another one of those, those games we, me and Hitman have played. Yeah, we were, we were working out some puzzles together on, on Skype a while ago, and uh, but I never did finish the game, so it'll, it'll take a few videos for us to get to stuff I haven't seen, but I am excited to see the end of this game. Cause you should, because it's quite fun, even if like the puzzles do get a little weak near the end, just going to say that. But we're in an asylum right now. Oh yeah, the dialogue in this game I really, really enjoy. I think we both do, because it's just very yeah, the, fun. The, uh, your your point-and-click adventure game protagonist is really made by the sort of comments they make about, you know, observing things, and have to have a little character. Another Here, he just seems a lot. He just seems awful, like, like blase so about everything. Urine. Like, hey, I'm in an asylum. Wow, that guy's crazy. Am I right? Hey, the bed. It smells of urine. Yeah, sometimes his pronunciation actually comes out really funny. There's some funny dialogue later on too that I laughed at. And uh, the puzzles here. The puzzles in this game are relatively simple, even if like um. Some of these just sitting down. You never go down there, by the way. But the puzzles in this game are relatively simple. They're not super hard, except for that one section that me and Hitman were stuck at long ago. Yes. yes. Very, very memorable uh, puzzle. But yeah, the uh, the reason I was able to, I wasn't able to get go through it myself was that you know, lost my save data and then. And had to go through all this stuff or stuff earlier. And I just didn't have the, the patience for it. Because it's like you've already seen it, and I feel like if you watch this playthrough of us like talking about it, it might actually destroy your incentive to actually play the game. Cause, yeah, but you know, if you if you see enough of it, I would encourage you to get it on good old games because yeah. that's where we got it, and it was it's at a very reasonable price. So yeah, it's um this game is worth it. If it was on my on my show, is it worth it? This game is very much worth it. So um I would highly recommend you actually get the game yourself to play it. And but if you really, you know, for some reason don't have the incentive to play it, then I well here you are watching Can us I play it. Something? Can I ask your name? Oh yeah, all these people are crazy, if that's not obvious. Oh yeah, you also can't run in this game, so I literally do have to take my time playing this. But I, you know, I try to play it as naturally as possible, which I did, looking at everything. I guess Kurt, I guess uh, crazy synonymous with stutter, this guy. This guy looks like someone like uh, Jim Carrey's Joe, or not Joker, um, the Riddler. Or something like that, or something from Al someone from Alice in Wonderland. I do kind of see that. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you highlighting? Oh, this. Oh, you're, you're gonna see something funny I do with the dialogue later on. But, but uh, right here, all the crazy people talking. Uh, all the crazy people talking, talking here will relate to some stuff that you'll see in the future in this game. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, one of those things where you don't know what it means right now, but later on you're like, oh, this is what he was talking about. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure, not sure I paid that much attention to the crazy guy dialogue when I first played the game. At first I don't think I did too, but during this play th complete playthrough of it, I did. Stupid boy. I feel I feel like one of those sing-along songs, like what village does this place have a real name? Of course, it's the village, the 
You know what I'm talking about? The little, yeah. uh, you know, children sing along songs where the little cursor bounces around to show you what to sing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it does. And it's funny he mentions villages here. We'll try and not, like, drown out the dialogue, but clearly you can see the text reading here. Although the text does get cut off at some point when they talk, like, they have too much to say. I know. Yeah. Yeah, this guy doesn't really... This guy right here is just telling us about stuff to answer our uh, protagonist, whose name is Max's uh, questions. Although he's... Way to spoil it. You, you, you figure out what his name is very soon, so, you know, I, I deem it uh, not too spoiler-ish. Yeah, and you just showed our, showed our lovely protagonist's angry face. Oh yes, that's also what's sometimes humorous, sometimes. Why are you in this place? What brought you here? He like opens Isn't his mouth and you know crickles his eyes like that. Err, I'm angry. Can't you tell where anyone yeah, is? You crazy, stupid son of a bee. Up, or he'll hear you, stupid voice. Yeah, goodbye. Oh. Yeah. Also, uh, the also there's each era. <sighs> In each area, the puzzles are... It, they're actually very, very small, I realize. It's just that uh, sometimes you might not figure out certain things in uh, in each area. Like, if you know what to do, the area is actually really small, but, like, when you don't, it's actually really big. Or feels big. Extraordinary. What a statue. Yes, it is. Something that will play of vital importance. Conveniently, there's a power cable. Anyways, there's also certain points in this game where I will speed up uh, the footage or skip some of it, either from backtracking or something repetitive like me trying to figure out a puzzle, but it's like a um, process of elimination. Remember. Oh, he's he's in that. Uh, what is love? Don't Baby, don't, don't hurt, hurt me. What's your name? This guy look. This this guy looks like uh, Mike Matei from Cine Massacre. Well, then. <laughs> so, can we say Mike Matei's crazy? At a cameo. Mom says not to talk to I bet he did the voice, the uh, motion capture for that. Lenny, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would be. I, I doubt he did the. I thought there was motion capture involved. Obviously. No, I mean the It's it's not like the motion capture from um, what was it? Uh, Prince of Persia, where it was a rotoscope. Yes, it is. This isn't your house. But yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> arguing, with, are you arguing with crazy people. Well, he must have hit his head very, very badly. Bad. I can't believe that of you, Lenny. What did you do? I uh, I ate some pumpkin pie. Oh, pie. sure. Pumpkin pie. It came from the patch. Of A course, this will patch? quickly lead to it? something Where? in the future. Hey, that, there's some uh, foreshadowing. There's some foreshadowing, yeah. Where is everyone, Lenny? That's Lenny, interesting, actually. Uh, what is? The fact that he mentions the made them all pumpkin go patch. Away. Oh, the mother made oh, them all Oh, mother! Go away. Must not have heard her. Uh, Lenny, where did she tell them to go to? To school. Yeah. So does this? So you that means this guy is actually connected to us in then some ways. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see the significance of these lines a bit later, but just keep them in mind. Yeah. So. This, as such, there's also oh, I also looked at the manual of this game from uh, well, bye. <laughs> from uh, good old games. Yeah, he actually doesn't say goodbye; it's just like bye. Yeah, I also looked at the manual for this game, and it says to keep track of a bunch of other things, like any numbers you come across, which only a few did. Martin, I said, do you know? I kind of skimmed through the manuals; so I don't quite remember everything in it. But Can you tell me my name. Oh, they, they actually give you puzzle advice. Uh, the manual? All of them yeah. Yeah, that's usually what some manuals are. You know what? They actually had a spoiler section for just this area, and I was like, why? Huh. The puzzles in this area isn't exactly uh, hard to solve. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, this, this building's about to explode if, uh, if uh, you've been reading and paying attention. Or, I don't know, maybe well, it said so later. But there was an alarm earlier. Yeah, but we shut it off. I didn't even know you could shut that off. I just had to, like, deal with it whenever I played. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I went to examine it. Oh, yeah, these bugs. Do these bugs remind you of something, Hitman? Of something in the future of this game? Oh, hey, they do. Holy shit. What? 
bugs, make, it makes no sense right now, but it'll make sense Maybe later. They're not real. Are you serious? Yeah, there's more attention to detail in this game than I thought. It is, it's very intricate, and now that uh, I've beaten the game and I get to look back on, like, the significance of it, this is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow! I can't... Robots! I can't believe the significance of that. Dr. Morgan! Dr. Morgan Freeman. Mr. Freeman, Mr. Morgan Freeman. This Dr. Morgan sounds awfully important. Cut, come on, re reread that line. He kills bugs. Reads the script. Not dead. Yeah, sometimes the voice acting is just a little off, but uh, for the most part, it's it's pretty good. Or then again, maybe the text the uh, the text subtitles aren't that great. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, whatever, man. <laughs> There's no, like... Hey, don't talk to that guy. Come on, you knew that was gonna happen. Yes, it was. <laughs> and he had his pants down. Hmm. Someone needs to fix that. That's <laughs> nice to draw. Someone needs to fix that? <laughs> what a reaction. Hey, some guy just died! Someone needs just, to fix that. He just it. died. You know, we really need to fix those pipes. That must be the That's just ridiculous. Said it could explode any minute. This guy does not freak out, out that much. Uh, also, the... Going back to the puzzles in this game, uh, Looks like the, the puzzles, game. most of it, the difficulty way. of the puzzles comes from knowing what to do and where oh, things okay. are, which you'll notice in later parts of this game, where I speed up footage a lot, because yeah, I was where like... where things are part can be a little iffy. Yeah, because uh, there were parts where it was just like, like, what am I supposed to do? And the solution was to just look around a little more and find uh, items to help me, but I didn't realize... You know, I was able to get to certain areas. How am I supposed to get there? But not so much for the, like... F oh, there I accidentally go back uh, down the yeah, stairs. Yeah. That happens quite this a few times. Finding quite a bit. Yes, you have to be very specific. On yeah, it. I, I knew the pathfinding wasn't going to be advanced enough for you to, like, walk all the way over there with a the towel. Oh, yeah, you also can't tell... The, you can't... Cl unlike other point-and-clicks, you can't click at something and have them go there. You actually have to be close enough in vicinity to actually go uh, to uh, where you want to. Yeah. Which is kind of a, just a little annoying, but at least he lets you know about it. So it's not like, uh... It's not like, oh, the item doesn't work. It's just like, I can't use it from here. Yeah, that would be obnoxious. It's just something game just lying to you. But how do I open it? Yes, and then just, like, fooling you. Yeah, this the serious puzzles are pretty easy because I mean you you have just just the one item there. Yeah, they start they start off simple. They do get uh, tricky. I I'd, I'd say the difficulty of the puzzles is like going over a hill. Easy in the beginning, it gets difficult in the middle, and then it gets easy again. That that's uh, how I viewed the puzzle in this game. Mm -hmm. Which makes the ending kind of disappointing because it was getting epic. But you just like, make the uh, so yeah, you're just just like plug the right colored things in. Yeah, pretty simple. Can what do we see me? here? It's Dr. Morgan. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. There's Dr. Morgan. Your face, it's in bandages. Where am I? Who am The bandages make me think of like Hollow Man. Important to go when you stole that car. Oh, yeah, no. I think I think what you mean. Damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe. Protagonist Mummy Man. All we need is your best effort. Oh yeah, the 3D Before animation in this uh in this game is pretty decent. Like it's 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 what it is for the time. Yeah, and they have the horizontal lines, you know, like old DHS. Oh, and it's smoking. Whoa, that short circuit opened the safe. I what? don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzles, making sense. Oh yeah, reading some papers and there's a key. A very weird key. There's something I would like to bring up is that memo the tower oh bridge. you could probably prove 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 this but I don't this see an exit to this place but maybe like the stairs got destroyed yeah, that's probably what happened it will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out why why <laughs> what the bridge <laughs> that's just kind of bizarre you can only you really would want to have these kinds of falls with Bunch of crazy people around. Hey, that's true. And why are they in a tower, anyways? 
The key you describe must be very I don't know, maybe this is an old sanitarium. Uh, that's probably true. Anyways. Aztec culture. Oh, another thing that so it foreshadows. The here at the but yeah, the to switch to, like, the bridge. So this is uh, archaeology slash anthropology slash psychology slash psychiatry kind of uh, kind of place I see. Yes, it is. It does all types of science. Doc Morgan's got uh, some interesting hobbies that he just likes to take with him on the job. Oh, you'll see what other hobbies he has later on. Here, but where are they? Tower cells. This is a weird area. It is. It's just. This is something you'd only see in a game. I'd this say. is like a Dark Souls esque area, almost. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yes, it is. It does look like something you'd see in Dark Souls. Yeah, they or demons, as, or demons of Souls. Yeah, the uh, the makers of uh, demons of Souls and Dark Souls saw yeah, this. This is like, like this is like the um, uh, this is like an under underground area, sort of. Oh, there's like. And, and what's weird is you don't really see anything below here. Like, it's not like there's a massive complex of like circular arranged cells, it's just that there's these three areas and then just like a pit that's oh. like constantly leaking water for some reason. Speaking speaking of uh, Dark Souls, oh here's the puzzle here, get this giant key. And look how big this key is. Yeah, it's... Oh. Uh, hi there. The light! The angels, they what come was that? <laughs> I don't know. I have an image of him just like... Look at the key! Oh, like, oh. Look at that key, like, whoa, look how big that is. That's a key? No way. Yeah, it was this ancient Aztec culture item, and then, you know, that ha it just happens to fit in the statue here. It is no... Very convenient. It is so dark. Oh, my home. And the statue Christ comes to life. What has become of you? Which makes our main character You're look insane. Alive. Am I going mad? Oh, s speaking of angels and uh, and uh, demon souls and well, relating to death, you cannot actually die in this game. So there's no there's it's not it's not one of those point and clicks where if you die where you where you die from experimenting at all. Yeah. So that's what makes this game less frustrating. The frustration only comes from the puzzles and just knowing what to do. Yeah, I think I think like games like uh, you know King's Quest and stuff were pretty much designed so that you die in stupid ways and like that's part of the fun. It looks like the but at the same time, it kind of like uh, makes you like, oh, I shouldn't go here, and I'll never know if I'll be it'll be safe enough to get here. So now we're in this little town here. Hey, you big dope. You oh God! On, What's that's wrong that's with your face? It's got like three mouths. Well, two. This is a very Tim Burton-like place. I think uh, Tim Burton will feel right at home here. I I kind of see this as like original Twilight Zone level shit. That too. What's your name? My name's Billy. What's your Billy Bob? Ah, uh, hey, more cutscenes. Yes, about Max, or about your character remembering something. I I can't remember my name. Well, mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you'd better leave. So one of the first few things is to get information about this place, but they won't talk to you since you don't have a name, making you a stranger. Not a big poop head like you. Not a big poop head like you. Listen, kid, I'm not a poop head. Who are you, young lady? This <laughs> her face is very creepy. What's yours? I'm surprised. Yeah, he's able to keep a surprisingly, you know, straight face, calm demeanor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Grap. Grap. That does not sound like a muffled voice, by the way. It just I, doesn't. It's, it's just, it's just, you can't, you can't even hear it. Like, I tried hearing, yeah, trying to hear the name, you just can't. So you, you know, this girl's face looks like a titan's face. Wish your mother. I'd really like to speak like, frozen in one mother? expression. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the colossal titan's daughter. Okay, well, well, I don't know. She, she still's got some skin there. It's like greenish. Uh, moldy lemonade, unfit to drink. Well, can you tell? Must hold some I know. He's just—he just—he can actually see beyond walls. So he can actually see places where you shouldn't be able to see. Legs. <laughs> Jump rope on wooden legs. Who that would be—that must hurt. Guys, but you can call me peg legs. That's what all the kids call. It me. must really hurt. That's mean. I would never call you that. Thanks, Mister. You're nice. 
What's this, your name? This girl's name reminds me of somebody, but I I don't know who. Here we finally find out what our what our what our character's name is. Max, Sarah would like to see you now. Me. That's <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of bizarre walking that, there. That animation there always makes me laugh because it looks so dumb. Now you want to but you know, not dumb enough to ruin it, but it's kind of funny. Now we get some information. Yeah. Take that lesson, kids. If they tell you your name, they're not, uh... Yeah, if they tell you their name, you're not a stranger anymore. So, you know, you can trust them. Tell them whatever you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's to completely true. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Oh yeah, it's, uh, eventually I'll skip some of the some of his questioning because it's the same question he keeps asking the kids. Yeah, and sometimes the kids say pretty much the same thing. To a degree. Oh uh, yeah, especially in here, they'll they'll say the same thing but uh, said differently. I don't understand. Why does your mother distrust all other adults so much? She says that pride leads to their destruction, or something like that. What does that Anyways, true story, when I played this game, I got stuck in this very second chapter. Yeah, this chapter, I think, might be actually the height of the game. I'm not sure about that, though. Like, in terms of puzzles or the story? In ter I think it just, in terms of the general area, I think is really, really good. Just well designed. And very, very unique and varied. It's, it's not, very, it's not yeah. stale or bland at all. Yeah, of, of all the parts of this game, this is the one that I... I Remember Always most. Just remember. Yeah, because it's quite, it's just disturbing, like, if you think about it. But yeah, yeah definitely. I, I got stuck on this one puzzle, and it was the only time I looked up a guide way Damn. back then. And after, and after coming back to play this, the solution wasn't that out of place. But, I think yeah. I know what you're talking Damn, about. You yes, like, you, you solved it. I, I, I know that for a fact, because you, you actually got the second solution. Damn. Or the... You're right, that there's multiple ways to get the solution. Damn. No, uh, like the one, the, the damn, 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 damn. yeah, I, I did some DJing with his voice, but yeah, damn, uh. Looks like I can't go that way. Someone could make a remix out of that. It's probably oh, not. You're gonna see, bus, so, you're gonna yeah. see something later on near the end. But yeah, one of the puzzles here, there are two solutions to it. One of them is really, really cryptic and hidden and cryptic, and the other one is just out in the open. Um, Hitman here got the. Uh, out in the open solution to it. You know, that's kind of weird. They There's put that divider up after the car crash. Hi there. Why would you even drive off there anyways in the first place? It's like someone drove off and they're like, you know what, we better prevent anyone from doing that again. So they put the divider up there. I knew we should have had this road just end. Our town's not pretty well planned. There's no place to park the car. And there's no sign that there was a bridge here before, either. Yeah, you'd think there'd be at least some round of it. Or at least a collapsed bridge. If it was a collapsed bridge, it might have made a little bit more sense. Wait, didn't he say mother his special children? Yeah. Protect his special children. Oh, God. Okay. I thought he was referring to mother. Disease. Disease of the meat. Prepare for HK47 jokes later. Meatbag? Yes. It's someone who eats plants, not animals. Well, I think that's what she is. <laughs> I think that's what she is. I think that is what she is. I sit here all day, so I don't care. You mean you never go into town? Well, only to go to church, but I haven't heard the call to mass in a long time. Hint, hint, puzzle. The call to mass? What's that? Father would ring the bell. But since all the adults went away, no one's been able to ring it. Anyways, most of the kids in this town, like, they don't seem like they have anything better to do other than just play. It's, it's kind of yeah, kinda sad. I'm chilling. Yep, just chilling down here. Observe the car. Yeah, that gas, that gasoline, I think, becomes important. Yes, it does, later on. Because, uh, Mother's gonna need it. Yeah, I like how they sort of move around. That's uh, always been... It's not very like uh, it's not still and lifeless. School. Yeah, certain characters sort of like run around and go through like loops and stuff. Psalm four, verse fifty-one. The gates of heaven. Ah, this will come in handy later. Here's the church. Four fifty. Yeah. Oh, I bet the the numbers four fifty-one do something. Yes, indeed. By the way, if you. Ah, I'll save it for later. But you got to do something with the church, cause uh. 
Yeah, it needs to be done because you need to grab something. What does it mean? The flashbacks of his memories of when he got married. There are some files here. Yeah, apparently our character is married. This is now you're st studying the town and seeing what what goes on about here, and the story is uh, engaging enough about the town's history. This town is Illsmith. Local man that comet sounds a lot like the plot from Illusion of Gaia, where this comet came to Earth and it completely like fucked up the evolution of Earth. Both wrists cut. Comets are a nice plot device. Apparently, they the emit radiation. One, yeah, one of the one of the villains in Justice League. Oh, God. his backstory was he had, was there was a comet. Yeah, uh, something savage. Vandal Savage. Yeah, Vandal Savage. Oh, yeah. Really interesting. Uh, Plot arc with him, where he's like the only man alive for like thirty thousand years. Oh yeah, like when uh, super when like Superman gets transported to the future, he finds out that he's the only person still alive because yeah, he lives forever. Hey, do you want to come to my house? <laughs> that was great. That was... that was great. He was almost he was driven to in, driven to like insanity. So it's like when he sees Superman, he's like, oh my god. Hey, you want to come person. to my house? Yeah. Because he used to be evil, but then he became a good guy later, regretting his actions, and it was a good character arc. 30,000 years alone will do that to you. Yeah. It, it turned into the long dark, too. Right, so we can actually talk to these guys now that, um... Now that we have a name. Now that we have a name. Jeez. Have you figured out your name yet, Mr. No Name? Why, yes, Deformed Two Mouth. Oh, that's a good name. Man, I bet this... Mr. No Name. I used to have a goldfish named Max, but my cat ate it. He pooped orange for two days. This kid can probably eat and talk at the same time. Do your parents know you tell stories like that? <laughs> yeah, but they don't say anything. Orange poop, orange poop. That's just weird. Like, do, do your parents know you tell disgusting stories like that? About poop? I'm your friend, right? I mean, that's just kid shit, isn't it? Billy, that angel statue over there, does it... I mean, have you ever seen it move very often? Stupid Mr. Orange Poop. You must have boogers for brains. I want to smack this kid up the head. Well, this one did. It was... Oh! That face. I mean, it just... Oh my god! Stop it, mister. You're giving me the creeps. Mister, you're really <laughs> creeping me out. Tic-tac-toe. Jessie's the best there is. Except when she cheats. She's Except you never catch her cheating, Maybe of course. I too. Got any tips for me? Yeah, stupid head. Don't lose. Best advice I ever. Take that, kids. For games, but I've got less patience for smart mouth kids like you. I sympathize with you, Max. I don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> brings up his what face. What happened to your face? Me? Nothing. Mother says I'm handysome. What's wrong with your face, Mister? Is mother making you handy some too? Remember, That's a fair uh, point. No, Billy, I was hurt in an accident. Don't forget, kids, you're all handy Man, some. Help me get better. Whatever that means. I guess instead of being Actually, handsome, you you're play handsome. Tic-tac-toe with her. Yeah, you're the one who play you play tic-tac-toe with her. Tic-tac-toe champion. What's your name? Oh, I guess being handy some means you're handy instead of being handsome. Oh. Kind of like uh, what Red Green would say. Okay. Maybe you're both. You're both good with your hands and handsome. <laughs> Well, oh. I was I was thinking more on the lines of Red Green, where it's like, if the woman don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Where are your parents? They're all in. Jesse, shut, shut up. up. He's a grown up. You know this guy gives new meaning to talking out of the side of your mouth. What's oh God, yes. Rule? Did he say mutters? We aren't supposed to talk about our folks. If we do, we'll be put in in the, the patch. How many of you watching will bet that we're probably going to be in the patch? Well, the weird thing is, he, he she doesn't say it's a pumpkin patch. Oh, I didn't say it was a pumpkin patch either. I just said it was a patch. Well, no, she she says patch, and then Max says pumpkin patch. So, oh, hmm, that's true. I guess he's just kind of internalized with the uh, insane guy said. He's just like, oh, patch, pumpkin patch, like that guy said. Like ideas getting implanted into your head and you just automatically assume for it? Yeah. Then again, he is kind of like 
going through a crazy phase, so he probably just knows it because it's in his mind. Kind of like when you're in a dream and you just know what you're supposed to do, even though it makes no sense at the time, when you think yeah, back maybe. on it. But you're just a big, stupid boy. Oh, boy go rivalries. Kids game. Shouldn't be too hard. Now we get to play a little game with it. I spent Appar the Apparently, uh, if you if you if both players know what they're doing, it's like impossible to win this game. Yeah, this game, there's no way to win. There's only like, if you're good, you can only ever tie. Yeah. So there's only ties and being a loser. Yeah, my one friend actually tried to. He was he's a programmer. And he tried to make a uh, a program. I guess you're not as good. Or as he tried to make a tic tac toe program that would never lose. But it. It was impossible, wasn't it? Well, no, I mean, you should be able to, um... Like, uh, a good computer program will always tie. Like, they'll never lose. Yeah. They won't necessarily win, but they'll never lose. So, he kept trying to, uh... Kept trying to beat his own program, and it turned to be pretty difficult. Let's see. Yeah, so that tic-tac-toe game, like, I, I sped it up because, like, uh, well, we just want to see the winning result, right? So I just sped it up yeah. to where I actually won. Didn't take too long. I was trying to get that one combination that yeah. game, that has, like, a give, give it two so outcomes. Two, there's two ways for you to win, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> very, very nice. If you notice, I put the <laughs> mouth over the icon. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that those little, like, chomping teeth are the... Or toy uh, teeth, or, uh, or, or are they called clapping teeth or what? Not sure. Pretty good at that game, but I just beat her. <laughs> he sounds so impressed with himself. Hey, I beat a little kid at a kid's game. Next time, yeah. maybe you should watch your mouth instead. I wonder if his if he actually has like two different voices. I wasn't paying enough attention to tell. Oh, uh, Max and the kid. No, the um. No, the kid. Like one one mouth has one voice, and the other mouth has a different voice. Uh, I I wouldn't say so, but I can see what you mean, though, because uh, they're pointing in different directions. Therefore, the sound would go in a different uh, that way. Might be, that might be interesting if they did that. A, a very showdown like this. I can't believe this puzzle, this? by the way. Or this little thing it's to a get sick a piece. Horse. A sick horse. How can you tell? <laughs> it's kind of funny just seeing him like. I Get on it. The rest. Oh, Fun. A, a suggestion, isn't it? I really don't think... I really don't think that was made for adults. Nope. Uh, Max. But maybe his mind's been injured to the point it kind of regressed back to a child, perhaps? His face looks like it's melting. Eh. Well, he's certainly getting along with him pretty well. That's true. That, that, uh, you could describe his character like that. He's just a hi. big kid. What's your name? He said this kid's name is uh, Melting, so is it Melting from Nuclear Thrones? My name is Max. Probably, yeah. Oh, Mutants. He could probably make corpses explode. Oh, jeez. What was it? And he only ha like has a very short lifespan. Yeah, he has very low health, yeah. Probably has melting veins, or boiling veins. I, I have a ball. I can bounce it. Yeah, that's a nice ball you got there. He's speaking. He's like speaking through, through like an open smile teeth. Yeah, I thought the ball was actually an item you're supposed to get from him because I remember you have to do something with the church with it, but uh, it took me until a little later to find out what I had to grab. As right there, you just saw like he won't. Too far, not from too far. As you can see, uh, he will not actually go to where you click, where you uh. Or you clicked. You have to actually go there yourself. He was shaking the door's hand there. No, eventually nice, to, nice to meet you, door. You're gonna have to find a key later. The usage of the animation is is uh, pretty good. Like it works for the things uh, they want the characters to do. Can you talk to those kids that are swinging? Or nope. And you can't interact with them at all. Huh? They just stay there. Yep. For forever swinging. Swinging's pretty fun. It's kind of exhilarating. Yeah, ah, I, some more uh, files about the about the town, or yeah, the town. I was gonna say city, but that wouldn't be true. Another comment. In the sky. Any comments? Star, no comments. Astronomer claims that the star is actually a comet. An astronomer. Article about the annual town. There's no science center nearby. The local town astronomer. <laughs> Where's the science center? Yeah, your town doesn't didn't have an astronomer, did it? Neither did yours. <laughs> no, it didn't actually. 
This town is actually very small. There's there's only one house, a grave, a school, a church, and uh, the town hall. Yeah, it is pretty bizarre. But then again, we could probably like aff affixate that to his to his mental state or yeah, his sanity. Yeah. We're, we're not really clear what area we're in here because it seems like we've been moved physically to a different place, but. It's not. It's possible that this is some sort of hallucination because we know our characters got delusions of some kind after getting a, a brain injury. Yeah, like well, for for one, he's he's in an asylum for a reason. He, he like almost drew himself off a road. He's got bandages on his head. And then he uh, got oh. saved by an a, uh, by what seems like an angel. Yeah, definitely. So pretty dubious yeah. where we actually are or whether it's real. With my bare hands. Uh. A character later on actually does tell you, like, uh, what Max might have been seeing, and it's pretty plausible. A metallic cross. Mm -hmm. I'll need something to fish it out with. Oh, jeez, I wonder what would I need to <laughs> I fish that, that out. I, I love that the first reaction to that is like, hey, I'm, I think I could use that. Yeah, I don't know. He just picks it up like, hey, I know this has some use. Hmm, a giant cross a from a church. I mind. want that. Hey, a broken pig. I want that. I'm surprised that you like. <laughs> not not many games Good do to meet you, sir. <laughs> like he's shaking hands with it. No name that, on it, but it looks like a little kid's writing. I'm not gonna be able to get over that now that I noticed it. Here's an early entry. Oh, it's the diary. This is kind of. Mommy wasn't so sad all the time. Oh, this is kind of depressing. She says I I don't think I have. Very good. Uh, hmm? Daddy's been very uh, cogent writing for. for Little kid. Dad comes in, he yells yeah, she was highly educated. Um, but let's see. He yells a lot lately. Oh shit! I forgot Mother what I was gonna say. I was gonna say the story is kind of, like this Mom story is kind of a little depressing. Now. Oh, definitely. Dad said she had an accident and God took her away. I miss her a lot. I wish she were here to stop Dad from drinking so much. Dad smells bad when so we can see something smell. clearly bad is going to happen later on well, in this. Well, well, at least this kid relocated to her, her cabin by Walden Pond. Another entry. Oh yeah, there's also a barn here and a smaller house inside. Yeah, I'm not. The layout of this town is a little confusing. But once again, it probably is because uh, Max is simplifying the area. Yeah. He was Could be. gonna cut them down, but Father O'Toole If you assume this is a delusion, it makes sense. But... Yeah, which, uh, it most likely is. So it's like, yeah, it's one of those like, oh, well, I guess you were able to get away with something like this. I hope she heard me because I had to be real quiet so Dad wouldn't find me. He was hitting me again, and it hurt a lot this time. You can, you can see that Max is, like, getting it's warm, depressed himself reading good. this. Sometimes I don't know, maybe his head got injured where he can't feel sympathy for for certain parts. No, I mean, he's he, he sounds like he's feeling sympathy. Like, it's, like there's there's a feeling behind it where it's just like, oh. Age 32, died Saturday. Husband, Jetta. Daughter, Carol. And son, Lawrence. Hmm. His name is Lawrence. Lawrence Fishburne? More like Lawrence of Arabia. What a piece of junk. Oh. Only good for spare yeah, that parts. tractor there, there's actually an item on there that you can grab, but I didn't point at the right area for it, and I got lucky later on, and I was like, oh. <laughs> well, that was lucky. So this town is called Jeanette. Welcome or to Jeanette, Jeanette. Or something, I don't know. Sounds like something Jeanette. from... Jeanette. Sounds like a town from uh, Earthbound, a.k.a. Mother. Mm, well, the well, connections. on it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know why I, like... Uh, combine the two, because no. Oh. You feel I almost feel like Janet would need two ends, but I don't know. You could view it one way and another. Hey, the kids are gone for some reason. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Hey, I see a cemetery. The sky is awfully clear, or well, not anymore. Experts are baffled as to the cause of these deaths. Channel Six News. Experts are baffled. Can anyone put a stop to the loss of our children? Well, I'm not sure. What do you think about this? I wish I understood. I'm not entirely sure what that's that... not what your country can do for you. I'm not sure what that cutscene was about. Nothing. Ah, oh, yes, the language usage of this uh, in this game is pretty unexpected, to be honest. That is kind of bizarre. What's yours? You you can see these like threatening little kids, but I don't know, man. He looks 
They're like kind of feels, dopey. I almost consider him a little kid himself. The newspaper is At this point, it is. But, well, are you like a kid in, a, in an yeah. adult's body? He's my old yeah. Dad. I'd like to speak to your father. Is he close by? No, <laughs> he's really close. But you can't talk to him. Why not? Because only mother's allowed to. Only mother? You mean you're not allowed to see your own father? Yep. Mother says that they got to learn about race Man, I wonder who this mother is. Alone. alone where? Yeah, it's always, everyone's always saying mother, so maybe there's like a demented sewing circle ruling this town. Is that your father? Oh, at, at least it's not father mother from Xenoclash. It's true. I haven't seen any adults. That game also had a theme around that too. And yeah, mother thing is striking close to home here. After all, you're the only adult in town. And mother don't like adults. This mother sounds like a like a Watch my step. Hmm, not man hating, but like just adult hating. Whoa, down, <clears throat> I was just telling you to be careful. That yeah, I was just, just telling you to be careful. I wasn't By being an asshole. I wasn't saying I was gonna do anything. Mr. Dearly by Aww. Headstone. Yes, that comes with some significance. Killed by tainted meat. We Yeah, we remember the Driscoll. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Oh my god, this this kid here. Chad F, awaiting zombification. That fat kid the running fat around? <laughs> waiting zombification. This kid oh. a little more I want that written on my head. <laughs> so, some humor in the game. What's your name, kid? Derwick, what's yours? This is like a favorite place for adventure I'm game. I'm Derwick. Oh like yeah. Other game developers to hide Easter eggs in graveyards. Or like some puzzle. That requires to proceed in the game, like Gabriel Knight, the sins of father. I don't know. They're like Fallout 2. If the, the there was like a um, cemetery outside New Reno, and there are all kinds of like goofy ass headstones that were like pop culture references. In Fallout New Vegas, there's actually a uh, a head. Or there, there was like a little plank in the Good Springs graveyard that uh, that says Benny Lava on it. Oh God! <laughs> really? Now I didn't notice yeah. that. No, actually, that's serious. There is. They left you kids all alone. Yeah, they they have oh, game developers like to do things like that. And when they do it well, it's uh, Where is your it's entertaining. Mother? Yeah, it's like we gotta put something there, so it might as well be you know We're something funny, something funny for people that are actually Why paying not? attention. Because mother doesn't want to be disturbed. Like Anyways, that fat lumpy kid that was running around reminds me of like the kingpin from um, Spider-Man when he was a when he was a kid. He's not actually that. Well, the kingdom was actually deformed. He's just big. Yeah, like he was a big fat kid, kind of like that uh, that lumpy deformed kid. Yeah, maybe. Because if you watch the animated series, there's an episode where he talks about his past, and he was like really fat, like like just like that kid. Huh. It's a classic case of you know someone is bullied for being fat, taking revenge on the rest of the world. Yes, yes, that's true. That's gross, huh? Yeah, just like Billy. It's like okay, we get the whole the whole uh <laughs> snappy mouth thing. It gets funnier later on when I do it to other characters. Seven times, all right. That's significant, right? The amount of times that uh, she's been beat. Yeah, it, it's it's the other solution to um to the one puzzle later on, which uh it's really hyptic, like I said, hidden and cryptic. Yeah, and it's like. I, I, I only realized it after I looked it up, but when I tried looking at it through the game again, I couldn't find the other number for it. So, I think it was just a good thing that the creators of this game... <laughs> Too far away. He's right there. I know, he's so lazy. He does that a lot. But yeah, like good, it's a good thing the developers uh, had to... See, now I'm you can't see the guy's face. I guess you're not a stranger anymore. Yeah, that kind of happens. I don't know why you have to have the they mouse cursor there. Like, um, like over the, the mouth. Because it Where? didn't make it as funny. Sorry, mister, but I'm not allowed yeah. to tell you. Although it'd be hard to tell exactly where you were pointing if it was just the stupid, uh... Mm, that is true, I suppose. Kid. Aww. Uh, what was this? Yeah, so, it's a good thing the developers, like, had two solutions to this puzzle. In this uh, place, otherwise it'd be like one of the hardest things to figure out. What a god awful stench! And the kids don't smell it. Hey, it's a corpse. Let's loot it for supplies. Unfortunately, that's all you can do is observe it. Oh, wait, we're not in Bethesda land. What's your name? Well, since all the adults went away, 
Everyone calls me Lumpy. Humpty Dumpty looks like. Do you have another name? A real name? It actually looks like the white part of his shirt looks like a cracked no egg. And yeah, he's like the yolk. What's your name, mister? Yeah, because it's, it's like, there's like seams in it and like rips. And some buttons. Yeah. I guess that means you ain't a stranger. I guess he's an egghead. So I can talk to you, right? Uh, right. I haven't seen- Mother says we're not supposed to talk to anyone about that. Especially you big people. Sorry. I read the town newspaper. Uh -huh. and some articles about a man named Jedediah. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue in this game if you yeah. haven't noticed, so. Yeah, the Jedediah. So this, this is the, the Driscoll kid. Or one of the other kids. Oh, so it's, so I find his mom's dad, but he's still talking about mother. Yes, yeah, so this person might not be who we think it is. Yeah, it's weird that they're all saying mother. Go away. They seem to be referring to the same person. Didn't didn't something like that happen in one of the Fallout games where they were referring to this one person, but it's not who we think it is? Yeah, that, ha that happens a lot. And it's just like, mother tells me, whatever. Yeah, so. Uh, there's actually a game here. It's uh, the hide and seek Your game. That's the Dennis puzzle. O'Toole, right? That's my and, I, name. and I was trying to find uh, how to trigger it. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Cause we like it here. The other little kids are too chicken to play here. Why? Yeah, they prefer to just play what five feet play? away. They play kid games like tic tac toe. We play hide and go seek. Ah, and then here I trigger it. There's a lot of times where you gotta like obs like uh, interact with a thing best. twice to get something to happen. Really? What is it? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. Now, isn't that a classic thing with like Prize secrets? Winning, huh? Yeah. What is it? The keys to the town At least it is a kid. There's lots of cool stuff inside. Oh, I take it back. That one house I was trying to go into is actually a store. So there's where do these um, kids sleep. It's been a while since I played this game. Could you tell mm -hmm. me the rules? Yeah. It's so simple, even you can play. Anyways, this this game or this hide and seek game they make you play isn't too hard, except maybe for their secret weapon. But uh, if you've been paying attention, you would know what it is. If you can find all of us, you get the key. That sounds. Apparently, no one but uh Max uh figured it out, or you, the player. Can I play a game of hide and seek with you? Yeah, if you really want to show everyone what a big fat loser you are. That's it, big mouth. You better <laughs> pray that I don't find you. <laughs> that go. line there. Let's go. <laughs> you better pray that I don't find you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, kid. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play some hide and seek. You better pray I don't find you. Actually, lo the, that's a good one. I actually lost track of how many of the kids there were, so at one point I was like, uh, Oh, I'm missing one of the kids. Oh, uh, shit, yeah, there's, where is there's it? there's four that you see in the... in the cemetery. Oh, actually, it was, a uh, five. Really? Yeah, there was one... Yeah, yeah, there's just five. There's also another one hidden somewhere. Yeah, I know I know that. I'm just saying the ones that you saw in the cemetery. Like, just yeah. thinking the way that you would right now playing the game. Yeah, I, I thought there was only four, but there was five, because there was one hiding near the shed, not the cemetery, and I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. So just exploring around the town, I did consider speeding up the footage, but I decided not to. Oh yeah, you get trapped on uh, objects yeah, sometimes. You like, you like run it, you run into objects that aren't really supposed to be there. They're just like there because of perspective. And it's kind of like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. There you are. <laughs> How do you even fit in that, anyways? He's so fat. <laughs> he just stretches out if any breaks. <laughs> Look how he runs! Oh my oh, god! Oh, you you actually have to watch him run away, yeah, you, and then you, you can't can move. move until he stops running. Nope. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there's also another dumb thing too. Like, uh, if you examine similar objects, and Max says the same thing for uh, like same description for them, he actually has to like read out the entire thing again. You'll see this later on. Right. You mean you mean like how the first time you you observe yeah, something, you have to uh, you have to see through it, and then you have the. To, you have to Everything. And then the next time you can skip it, but sometimes you'll see like a similar object that he'll say the same thing, but you can't skip God. it. So many corpses. So this is where the parents' house is, or the parents are. There you are. Parenting school, oh perhaps. What Looks like they all failed they class. Now how did he get in here? I don't know. There's no windows or anything. He's just he's just magically inside it. But if we chalk up the the delusion thing, then you know he probably just teleported inside. Yeah, maybe. Decayed bodies. Are these the parents? 
If I asked the kids directly, it might upset them. Except for the one that was hiding here. You know, that kid didn't yeah. freak out at all, at all at this. Are these the parents? Yeah, he's a little jerk. Directly, it might upset them. That little piece of squat. So that's now we got, the we got two kid. out of two out of uh, four that we know of right now. Well, two out of five. Well, yeah. It, and in total, there's uh six people you need to find. Oh, really? Yes, including oh. the that includes the secret weapon. I see. This kid most. Found ya. <laughs> They're not you very good at hide and I seek. You didn't count on my isometric perspective. Yes, and me seeing beyond the walls. I actually almost didn't find one of the kids, but I accidentally stumbled on her, and that was that must have been real unlucky for her. Because I thought one of them was gonna hide in the town hall. Because this is the this is one of the few things about the game I don't remember where they're hiding. Like I remember the general location, but yeah, not I the knew, specific. I knew there was one in the church. I knew there was one. Yeah, in the, see there. The, see, she's oh, hiding in the tree. I was gonna go into the town hall, and then I'm like, oh wait, I see you there. How unlucky of you. Looks like she's not very good at climbing trees either. Yeah, because her foot are made of, like, tree trunks. That uh, makes you, sense, I guess. I don't even know how she walks. She has what a is big her foot. deformity anyway? It doesn't look like she's... She has big feet. Oh, yeah. That are made of, uh, tree trunks. But we we can't see it, obviously. It's just Max... That's Max's, uh, description of it. And we're gonna have to take his word for it. So here, I was like, okay, I found all the kids. So I'd start talking to the leader of the bunch. And being like, where's my... Uh, to trigger the secret weapon part. The leader of the bunch. Hmm. We know him well. He's Donkey Kong. S so wait, you, you only found three. Where's the other two? Oh wait, let's see. There's one, two, three. No, there's four. Oh, okay, yeah. You were the champion, and here I'm talking to the girl about like uh, the the wins and losses to like yeah. see that cryptic uh, that cryptic solution to the puzzle. Yeah. So there's four, five, and that seven means nothing. I don't, I don't see the part where she, where it was mentioned about a one. So I'm like, okay, I don't see anything. Or here, I'm trying to examine it, so I see four. Right, it sees four, but it's actually five. And then I see five. a five. But notice how the seven's not in the numbers. That yes. means it wasn't important at all. Right, so cause that, yeah, because it, it's actually written out as a number. Yeah, so I tried talking to the Not rest and see if anything. So see, there's one, two, three, four near the center, Today's and the kid standing sorry. to the left is uh, is the leader of the bunch. Dennis. Dennis the menace. He is a menace. Yeah, he really is. Anyway, so he didn't say anything about the secret weapon because he only talks about it once you find all five of them. So I'm like, oh. Yeah, where's where? the fifth? I'm guessing he's chilling down there by the uh, the dude with the um fishing rod. Which is uh, what I'm apparently doing, which is not the case. But I figured I'd come down here and check anyways. Or see if this guy has anything new to say. Your name's Timmy, right? That's right. That's right. I've read some newspapers. So he brings up some stuff in rip. the backstory of the town. Is he a relative of yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's my father. I'd like to speak with your father. Sort of, but What's weird is he... Speak about it. Why? Sorry, yeah, he already knows. So for Max to ask that is kind of bizarre. Yes, it is. He'll 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 ask things that are like uh, something that he already knows, but he still ask it anyways. You mean in that pumpkin patch on the other side of town? Oh, there's that mention of it again. Something else. I'm getting scared. Okay, okay. I'm getting scared. I didn't mean to upset. Even though again, no one's mentioned that there's. Oh, actually, no. Um, he did read the thing that um. He read the thing in the the shack that said. Yeah, about the the pumpkin patch. He says I'm just a stupid little kid. Oh well, goodbye. So I'll go around here Somebody needs it. and open the uh, little the lid on the car to for future <laughs> use. Fumes, he shakes its hand as well. Hello, Mr. Car Lid. Let me open you up. Oh yeah, you can see like these inanimate objects like moving around like that piece of paper. You you can't interact with it, so it's kind of like sometimes it's um sometimes it's a little hard to potentially tell what you can and can't pick up. 
But it's it's yeah. more obvious when like your icon hand actually or your magnifying glass moves, and it's like, oh, I can touch this now. Oh, okay, I know where she is now. There's I, only I, one rather place. I remember. Only one place. Yeah, there, there's only one place we haven't looked, so it's probably an easy guess. Yeah, right there, uh -huh. out of the bed, classic. What? No, he has oh. to go out. No, he has to walk out, so he can run away. What the? Yeah, I gotta wait for him to walk off the screen because we can't so have back a... there, right? Like black wait, what's spots back all over it. Wait, what back spot? No, the the kid's back. It looked oh. like all up and down it there was like black spots. Oh, he must be must have been playing dirty. I mean, he was trying to. He thinks he's hiding from the boogeyman, but Max is no boogeyman. There's yeah, also... they all, like they also they all like keep poking their heads out every like every like half second. Kinda... Yeah, yeah. So it's not the game's not trying to be cruel. Huh. That wasn't so tough. I found everyone in one fair and square. It now would be nice if you were able to start. run, Max, but you can't. Big don't. You forgot about our secret weapon. I should have known you would cheat. What kind of crap are you trying to pull? I'm angry face. It kind of looks like a rabbit's face for some reason when he's angry. I told you about the secret weapon and his you his lap win. his anger is a little I don't know, it's <laughs> <not> very intimidating. <laughs> you didn't find all it, it's it's like comedic angry. What? You didn't find Carol. She's our secret weapon. <laughs> She's the best there is at this game. She's been hiding a long time. That's kind of sick. I don't even know how this kid knows about uh or I don't I can't say if he did or didn't know about Carol. Oh, he does know um well, that's her brother right there. Now I have a sp oh, it is? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her brother. Cool. Sometimes I lose track of uh, some of the things in the game, and I'm just like, wait, what? Although you kind of have to, you kind of have to put the two and two together. That yeah, this this was a um, was something that it took us a while to figure out if, too, if I recall correctly. Oh my gosh, well, wait, the oh, geez, half worm. Oh yeah, this this girl is the one I remember oh, Sarah. Like, she's like. Oh, her eyes have been taken out, and her bottom half just a worm. Like yeah, the, yeah, uh, she's she's been converted. But yeah, the puzzle. Are you talking about the jumping over the bridge or the? Talking uh, about finding the um finding the girl. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how I how one of us eventually figured it out. Yeah, I, I think the one told the other, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't remember who figured it out. What do you mean not anymore? I just remember we solved it. Before. Mother got here. I th I think it's like when we picked up the sh like one of us picked up the shovel. We're like, wait, a shovel is used to used for something here. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know where the shovel is now that I remember correctly. Yeah, I I don't understand. I didn't know remember where it was either, so I had to look around a little bit. But it's kind of obvious afterwards because someone was apparently using it. So this girl gives us some more info about the town because she's a little more willing to tell us what's going on. Show you the way to the town hall, but my eyes. Actually, how would she even get uh, across? Like, she's not jumping on that thing. She's got like with her little worm. Well, what if it was like? What if we came after like the bridge broke or something? Yeah, probably. I'm just I'm just thinking about how she would jump across. Maybe maybe like curl her little bottom half into a spring and just like bounce across like a cartoon. Launch her across like uh, worms or something. Yeah, you just throw her there. Who is this person? She's resting right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't speak to you. Kind of spooky right here. She's resting right she now. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk to you. She's really... <gasps> what is it, Maria? <gasps> I think she's waking up. <gasps> I can't talk anymore. Mother will hear me and get awful mad. That's kind of creepy having someone watching all the damn time. Hey, you're giving a bad example to these kids, Max. about your parents. Please don't be Yes, telling them to spill secrets. I could. It's just that... Well... I'll be punished again if I do. Punished. Oh, here's how she gets punished. Pumpkin patch. She'll have me put in the pumpkin patch again. It's a terrible place. It doesn't look so bad. Shh, just wait till you get in there, Max. Everything turns bad. You've been in there before? Yes. The others dragged me in there. That's pretty horrifying. The other children? They did as they were told. Mother wanted to teach me a lesson. Oh, what poor girl. Lesson, Very sad. She's the only sweet little girl in this uh, town, aside from a few others. Mother said we should never, ever do that. 
but I was too curious. Mother saw me. She told yeah. the other kids that I was bad. Then she made them put me in the patch. I don't remember much. There's another spot of weirdness here words. where she lost her eyes. You'd they think that would cause a lot of damage. Eyes. It hurt a lot. Yep. I just noticed that her like the worm the part is like wagging around right now. Mother yes. It's like she got a tail. Yeah, her legs turned into a tail. I, that's what I'm assuming, anyways. I don't think she grew out her tailbone. Man, that's just like sad and depressing. Everything will be better. Yeah, this whole area will be better. is way worse than it looks. Please, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've already said too much. Yet, yet there's still more talking. O'Toole. Did you know him? Yes. He was real scared about the comet. Oh, this is the preacher and uh he that that, that she's God telling us about. about the pumpkins. Yeah, it was um was it was uh taking Yeah, the comet was supposed to be like the eye of God or something. Which is According like the preacher. Comet. Is that what happened here? Did the comet somehow make the plants around here grow so wild? Mother told us that the comet was a sign of her coming, a sign that we were special children. Special children. Hmm. Oh, so you do have to get through the combination lock to get to the next area? The right yes, you do. So I decided to go at this earlier. So if you remember from the church, the church, um... Uh, what was it? The numbers on the thing? Like? Yeah, it was it was 451, which apparently doesn't actually exist. Like, that's not our... Like Psalm 450. If you search Psalm 451, it's really not a Bible verse. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, verse. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, this old junker isn't going anywhere. Yeah, I actually just looked it up during this video. There's 51.4, but there's no 451. Or it's 4 and then 51. Yeah, like that's not a real verse, as far as I'm concerned. So I go down. As far as I know, from my quick search, anyway. So apparently there's a path that you can go down here, but I uh, there's nothing, or I don't well, see can't... anything interesting. Yeah, you, you, you can't walk up that slight incline? Nope, because it's not important. Plus, we hit the edge, edge of the map, too, anyways. So I open the gate, and then I decide, hmm, well, the shovel's not there, so I should... That's just, uh... weird. <laughs> it's just weird how he jumps across like that. I swear, I, I can... I really would not think that thing would bounce like that. I, I feel like you would just... Another heads. Smack your head off. See, Driscoll... Cause well, if we were if we were to say we were if we were to be in this situation, we would have probably gotten a plank or something. I thought you could get those planks from or that just one door. Jumped, you... like I, it doesn't look far enough that you couldn't jump and then hold on to it, but that's pretty hard to do actually. Yeah, that's true. We c yeah, you... jumping and then grabbing on something and pulling yourself up sounds like or you way know harder than it looks or you know you could use a stick to like stick it in the ground and like leap over. Javelin. She's my brother's best friend. This guy looks like the baby version of um, well, of the nemesis from uh, Resident Evil 3, sort of. Stores. Me neither. Your name... uh -huh. Anyways, oh, I so go... You're gonna ask them about the secret weapon? Yeah, You're cheating. to get some clues. Now, if you notice, there's an she item on screen that we can name. touch right now. Oh, where is she? I don't hmm. know. Don't see it. Right about the same time as all yeah, it kind of blends in with, uh... No, there, there it is, there it is, I see it. Anyways, going back to that bridge, you remember that door we busted sorry, open? We could have used the door and used it as a plank. It's true, yeah. Or make more sense. More logical sense. Yeah, well, it'd be kind of weird for him to be carrying a door around with him. No, I mean, he carried a, pi a pig around with him. That is true, that thing's pretty big. Where does he have the pockets for it? Nah, probably his delusion. Adventure game stuff. Yes, you you don't complicate that stuff. It, that's like a Fallout item there. It's like it, just the the color scheme and the way it sort of like blends into the background. Yeah, the mm -hmm. the shovel. Dennis said that yeah. Carol is the secret weapon in this game. Who is she? <laughs> She's our best player, Mister. These well, kids are all t so twisted. I can't tell you that. Eileen. It's a weird name for a little kid. Well, I mean, if if it's okay, so I walk away and then I just kind of notice afterwards, like, hey, wait a minute, I I I see the shovel. I guess it's a generational thing. A shovel. I don't know. If if, if I knew a person named I, or I've I've known one or two people named Eileen and they were both really old. 
was a common name in a different generation. Like well, it's like if an adult, if you, like if, you, yeah. Go ahead. I'm all done. If you find an adult uh, named Eileen, you wouldn't think it's weird, would you? Uh, an old person, I wouldn't think was weird, but because then that mean at some point uh, when they were a child, they were called that. So yeah, but it would it would have been at a time where you know that was a more common name. It kind of seems like that's what this is, like, what, in the 60s or 70s? Could be, yeah. It's got that sort of curious sort of quality to it. A name of time. So I think uh, this is where I go to find out where Carol is. Isn't it pronounced Carl? Carol? Yeah, like C-A-R-O-L can be pronounced as Carl. Yeah, can't it be pronounced as Carl? Well, no, I don't know. I'm... Just C A R O L, I'll just Carol. We could have a Bloodborne character whose name is C A R R Y L L. So, yeah, there's Carol. This decayed child must be Carol. Because if you notice on the grave, it says C Drizzle, and yeah. the other kid, C uh. The other kid, her brother. Ah, uh, shit, what was, his, what was his name? Lenny? Um, his name was Jetta. Well, no, maybe it was his mother. No, Jetta is the father. Or, yeah, his father, excuse me. The mother I forget, and, um... Really oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out what his Lenny what his was name a different is. kid. Yeah, Lenny was, like, a nicer kid. And lumpy. Max, his name... Or, no, not Max. I dug up your secret weapon. I dug up your secret weapon. Angry face engaged. Honestly, appropriate... Appropriate reaction by Max here. Yes. Ah, oh, Dennis the Menace, that's right. Thanks, Dennis. Because it was like his... Wasn't his last name Drisco? Because then I see the was name O'Toole. I don't think Dennis Drisco... I don't think Dennis was Drisco. I think it was... It was that. It was the, the kid Lumpy. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. Why, yeah that's, that's why right. he's uh, carrying around like that, because he was her brother. And he's like, hey, I found my sister again. Yeah, quite... Disturbing in some senses. Almost like he wants to take her for a ride, you know? Yes, and he's too naive to understand death. So the the importance of the shed was to, well, mainly get the gasoline tank here, but you can also see more about the mm. town. Looks like a comet actually hit ground in this town, causing a landslide to block Route 30, falling bridges, power failures, the rest of the hey, this, this comet hitting the barn, and then all of a sudden all our bridges Another fell down. I don't know yeah, why. I, I, <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah, I don't know how it hit that far. It didn't make any sense to me. Yeah, who knows. Man, this O'Toole guy is a, is a dumbass. Conditions, this will be the final edition of the Observer. Yeah, wh when, where was this? Charges of child abuse filed against Jetta Driscoll... Have been uh -oh. How scumbaggy. Yeah, this whole town is a mess. Yes, it is. But, I mean, where was this being published from, this newspaper? Like, where were the, where was the press that printed the newspapers? I don't know. They never they, they never explained. So that, that room is the only uh, significant part in this... In, the, in that store. This other one, I don't know what use it has. It's just, like, you can just open it. Hmm. This store. And he doesn't, and Max doesn't just open the door for, you know, when you have the key. He doesn't just use the key, yeah. You gotta now, tell now him to use it. Gone. Looks like someone made a fort out of cardboard box. Yeah, this room has no significance. I thought for a second maybe, like, uh, one of the kids was hiding in here. Yeah, well, that, that would kind of defeat the purpose. Like, they got, they got past the locked door. That didn't stop him from getting past the boarded up school. Right, well, if they got past the locked door and you need to win the hide-and-seek to get past the locked door, it's kind of impossible to get to them. This hose should come off. Yeah, so I was like, oh, how do I get, how do I get this, hose this hose off? off. This hose yeah, you need, you need something to grab it with. Uh, something that you have... It's an item later on in this chapter that you have to get, but I didn't realize it at this time because I apparently... Because I didn't remember it, so I end up like walking around town like... Oh, like, oh, right, where's all the things? But it's clear you need the gas can. Yes, you do. You need gas for the gas can. Or you need a gas can to get the gasoline from the car. In order to do something that we don't know yet. Yes. Or that at least I don't remember. 
I, I would not think there would be a use for a gas can in this situation. Me neither. I mean, maybe Wait, afterwards. You're not, you're not getting it? No, no nothing hap happens. You can't get the gas from the car because you don't stick the box in and then oh, gas yeah, comes out. Oh, yeah, you need the hose. You need the hose to siphon the gas, which I don't know how he siphons it. I guess he, like, sucks up the gas and puts it in. Notice yeah, that little rock there. The that rock, I didn't notice it, like, at rocks. first, but you can clear clearly oh, tell it's out of place. So what you have to do yeah. here, because we also need the fishing pole to fish out that object Max pointed out. For some reason. That should get people's attention. Only one kid goes to the mass, I guess. Even he... though they just sold, they just told you, or they just saw you throw it. Like I don't know. It seems kind of bizarre. Well, I guess maybe, um, maybe that kid didn't didn't uh, see, so he saw like, oh, bell's been rung. I'm There's... just imagining all the other kids awkwardly looking at you, like, like what's up with this guy? Little little Adults are scary. I <laughs> see you, you lured him in there to steal his fish. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, good job. You fooled the little kid out of his fishing rod. Oh, and you're gonna use the fishing rod to fish this disgusting, like moss-covered metal metal object. Just metal cross. Out of the, randomly out of the room. And you know what? He throws the fishing rod away. Away. He doesn't even return it. Good job, Max. Because it just disappears from your inventory. What an adventure game protagonist this guy is. Oh, so apparently I went the wrong way to fish this out, although this looks perfectly Yeah, it does look like normal. you should be able to get it from here, but now it's... Yeah, I think you have to do it from the from the bridge. Yes, you do. The fishing How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get there? Well, the point's not to get there, genius. I can't... Uh, oh, yeah, see that patch of, like grass there or like that part of the ground like yeah, apparently you, you can't walk on you that. can't go over it i'm like why it makes no sense can you look at the at the sign like does he make any comment about it yeah. uh i forget if i looked at it later i think this is where i start speeding up the video because i've just yeah i speed up the video because it's like i'm like i'm trying to get the hose and i like i can't get it out so i'm like uh let's try the items it's like let's try to try the cross it makes no sense, but I thought, like, him, hey, maybe. We'll never know, right? Yeah, so this is because you don't know that you actually have to go through the pumpkin patch right now, right? Nope, I, I don't. So, like, after a while, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe maybe after the pumpkin patch or something. So here I'm just speeding up, walking around, like, oh, what do, what do I do? It's four, so four times, five times, one time. It's like, th those are the times she's been beaten. Yeah. Right? Like, that kid beat her four times, the other kid beat her five times, and you beat her once. Or like, so. like I don't know, the, the the one with the five is she she mistaken it, because it was like, uh, it was five right. times, and then the other kid was like, we finally no. We finally agree that there was one beat her four, one that beat her um, five, and another beat her one, so it's four, five, one. So yeah, I guess all the clues are kind of there, but it's oh, like, need a hose to siphon out the gas. it's really just, it's really cryptic. Mm -hmm. Like, how, was I, how would I know? I had to look up a guy, that was one of the, I think that's the only puzzle that um, I actually had to look up to, like, solve, which I felt really ashamed, because it was it, just it the second chapter. It is bizarre, like, the amount of times that the kids I don't know why. did that. Something what the hell? Seen. Yeah, there's this hidden area that you can only notice if you pay attention to the path. It has no importance or significance, although you'll recognize this uh, later on. You just can't hear it. I can't take it anymore. Chop, 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 chop. I know. I'll hit him with the. I'll hit him with the cross. Now, for some reason, you can't go into the patch from that way. So yeah. I'm just like, what? You can That's only go in from one way. Like hidden thing. It is. Like I said, no significance or anything. Doesn't even help you in a later on segment. Such much childlike joy our character gets. Oh god. Slice oh, now we got combat. Baby. Slice and dice, baby. Why would you say that? <laughs> so I speed this up because I think... You, you, you run through and you fight the... Cr the crows. ravens. Or yeah, crows. You, like, you can't die. Yeah, you can't die, so that's and pretty it much... it saves deep. your progress, so it's like... it's just. So that's nice, but it's kind of, it, If you can't die, then there's no meaning to it, right? So here we got to destroy oh, the pumpkins pumpkin and... Pumpkin head? Yeah, pumpkin head. So Max failed that because I was trying to click you the are pumpkins. Entering the world of oh, pumpkin, pumpkin head. head. <laughs> Watching his movie. idle animation sped up is just fucking funny. This this pumpkin guy. It's it it looks like something from like a not nightmare uh night before or 
What was it? Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, she's saying, yeah I, I see what you mean with the Tim Burton ish of, ishness of this town. Yeah, so there's the common right there that caused a bridge landslide and such. It appears metallic. This looks like a very Superman kind of situation. Power generator. It's a uh, oh, Clark Kent. Yes. So this is Smallville. If it was fucked up. Well, it's Must Janet. Be out of gas. What it's right next to junk. Smallville. Probably only good for spare yeah. parts. Yeah. What a yeah, so this tractor actually has something inside, but I didn't click the right area. I happened to click all the wrong areas until I accidentally clicked the right area, which was good. Because I would have gotten stuck. And here we find out who Mother is. Oh my god! His face right there! <laughs> Hi there! So this is Jabba's the, Jabba the Hutt's, like, uh, ex-cousin. Twin sister, yeah. I not say that one out loud. Really? Like in front of her? Yeah, yes. probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Here, mouth moves. Yes, it does. Not like the one in the porch where its mouth is open, like, You know, she looks like, um, that fat character from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. The, um, I forget what his name is. I never saw the movie. Me neither, but uh, I'd like to. Meat secretions. Meat bag. I want to know what she means. God, what She's calling us a meat bag. I am beyond your understanding, human. However, you may call me what the children do. Sounds like she's trying to eat the cursor right there. Yes, it does. Or there's like another mouth in Mother, her mouth, like the I alien. Call you what you are. Yeah. Nothing but a disease. Mind your tongue, human. I forget, but I think, like, the same voice actor that did the voice of this, uh, of Mother is also, like, the same person who did the voice of, like, Max's wife. Yeah, apparently they had to put on a ridiculous voice to do this. This is what happens when you have too much photosynthesis. Yeah, definitely. Although you're not going to get much of it inside that barn. Yeah, that's right. Well, don't forget the comment is uh, giving it to her. That's true. And her vine and her life is all over the place, so it probably absorbed it while she's inside being a fat job of the hut. And she's pretty stupid, too. She bases her reasoning on just this one town because of, like, uh, this one dumbass. Paricha. Paricha Jedda. I saw his name on the pumpkin patch. Yeah, so she uh have to do with all this. Essentially saw the evil. evil. Right. How essentially saw the the two uh two like leaders of the town. Uh, yeah, she, she abused their kids. Or like one abused their kid, their own kind, and the other like avoided responsibility, so yeah, like right here, she's explaining. Yeah, this is kind of like a weird. This is kind of like that, you know, scenario where the horrifying, uh, the really powerful alien befriends the kid, you know. And then he sees all the horrible doings of mankind, but only like one part, not the entire world, and just bases it all on that one fact. Yeah, kind of like the uh, Iron Giant or something. Or, I was gonna say something like, you know those comments on the internet where it's like they base their their facts and opinions on one fact, but not like, like, uh, thorough research? Yeah, well, you know. So basically, Mother is like a, a really stupid YouTube commenter. Not that, not that uh, you guys, you know. Yes, yes, because you're all wonderful people. Yes, if you, if you comment on our videos, it's, uh, we're, we're not talking about you. What could he possibly have done? Like, uh, this mother character has good intentions, but the way she went about it was just, uh, extreme. Yeah, she's- she's very childlike herself, you know, she has a, um, she has a lot of power, but not a lot of reason. Uh, has a lot of- she's really strong, but doesn't quite understand how things work very much. She's just been introduced to the human race. Yes, especially, uh, thanks to the meteorite giving her powers.
Yeah, and since she doesn't, since she doesn't know anything about also about humans other than what she's seen in this town, you would think that uh, you, to think you, are, you would think that uh, that you know she would just naturally think that's how humans are. Yeah, because well, she's converting the little kids to like her special children, so to, be, like, to become like to become plant-like. Yeah, so like she can't even do the thing where it's like when they grow up they'll be adults and be more respectable. Mm. Oh, here it is. Meat bag. Truly feel that way, then why have you spared the children? Aren't they meat too? Yes, and you have seen. Yeah, Max talked about how, like, how come you haven't killed me? And she's just like, oh, I'm confident I can weed you out. And it's like, just like, well, that's just. Like, yeah, I don't care about you. You can't really do anything to me. This is some like horrible like. Uh, actually, this is a horror, a sci-fi horror. Yeah, it's um. Reminds me in some ways of the um. The fly. The no, the one episode of Twilight Zone. What conceit. With just you know the one town isolated from the rest of the world with a little kid controlling it. Oh, oh, I know which one you're talking about. And whatever goes, he, whatever he wants, it happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, re I remember that, or I've seen, or I've seen uh, uh, the discussion on that. Transforming them into simple plants, you call that salvation? Well, better than Terminator Salvation. Simple plants. You know what your problem is. You lack structure. Yeah, you know, because plants have cell walls and cell membranes, and it's not as it's not as solid and yeah, yeah, not very versatile like uh, being a person. And moving you know, around. I don't. I don't know. I think I'd be pretty nice to be a plant, personally. And just be stuck in one place as your mind degrades. Well, you know, I, I don't know. I wouldn't My need to eat or anything. So weak, then why are you afraid of me? Afraid of you. Of you shall not pass. Jesus, yeah. Kind of bizarre. I think you're the one who overestimates yourself, you perverse. Bloated egomaniac. She called. He called you fat. Well, the negotiations kind of broke down at that point. But we had to make her angry. <laughs> uh, I've got to kill that diseased monster before it kills. The That's actually the the line that I remember most. Courtesy of. He says this outside of Mother's house. It's like she's he's trying to kill her, but she's just like, Meh. yeah. Yeah. So just, you had to go. The way that. Go on. Oh, God. The, the way he says that, he's like, "You perverse, bloated ego maniac." I always, I always like that. So memorable, it, like. Yeah, it made, it made me like Max a little more. You know, he's he's kind of foolish, but he's not. He's he's kind of brave like as well. Cable. And there's that jumper cable that, like, if I had clicked anywhere else on the tractor, I would have not realized it. So I'm gonna return back to town. As you can see, I've sped this up because I'm sure you would all love to see Max slowly walk back. Slowly to town. walking all the way through the pumpkin maze again. Yes. I thought there was some way to get rid of those other those other uh, vines. Only over after there. she dies. That's right. Oh, so we try to talk to her, and then something fucks up, I, fucked up happens. I about mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she's? Mother is good. Mother is the way. Oh, this is a, a creepy nursery the rhyme. Meat who will harm us? The meat must be killed so that the seedlings may grow. Yeah, it's almost like she's being spoken through, and it actually doesn't actually mean it. It is. Look at this. Maria? What's wrong? Maria! It's too late, Max. She's strong again. Strong as before. When she took all the adults, I... 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 I can't think straight. I... I... This is actually like a scene from Mass Effect now. Really? Possession? Well, there was a there was like a place where there was just a plant controlling everything. Oh, jeez, the people it like infects it like infects the colonists. Bioware played sanitarium confirmed. Apparently, they did. Yeah. Don't plants need animals to transport their seeds? Ah, uh, some do. Some just use the wind. That's true. Others use, uh, well, I guess, they, I guess they need, some of them need animals, like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then... Ones that use bees. Oh, yeah, to pollinate. pollinate. Oh, but see, that's a different type of flesh. 
Yeah, I guess so. So talk to Lumpy. Oh, he says nothing. Nothing like, Hey, I found my sister. This is my sister. I get to take her around in a stroller. Or anything like that. It's just like, Durr. So now that I got the wrench, I'm like, Oh, okay, now I can get the... Now I can, like, get the hose. A, metal a rusty wrench. Okay. There we go. I'm not exactly sure how... That made you able to get the hose, but I don't know. You loosen the place where the hose was? Yeah, maybe. Because it was connected, because, you know, you don't just plug it into a outlet and then just have water running through. Must have been put on pretty tight. Yeah, I was, I was thinking it was as hard for you to grasp it. Or hard for you to turn. The kid so. is still in the church. Yes, he is. So does he need to wait till the bell rings again to, for church to end? Apparently, he's like, ah, someone's gonna go, someone's gonna come and lead mass. I just know it. No, I don't. So now we get some gas, and I think we all know what's gonna happen. Yep, the gas. There's a gas power generator. Gas can. Yeah, this this puzzle is, uh, I think, the last. It's the last part in this chapter. We're soon hitting towards the end. So we go through the pumpkin patch Another again. Another long walk. This would have been like three minutes or three, four minutes if it was done at normal speed. Yeah, that's, so just, that's just egregious. So I just decided to save everyone the trouble of having this watch me do that. It looks like a barn. Oh, no shit. It looks like a barn. What, what gave you that clue? You've been inside it, Max. He'll say that regardless. So, or, so fuel up the uh, generator. Bit of an existential commentary. What's the point? There's no reason for me to do that. So now we gotta kill mother. It took me just a little while to get the idea. I don't know what's so stupid, man. Maybe you could give me some ideas? No, I have to think for you. Cause do you remember the the meter is metallic, right? So Yeah, meter's metallic, so you can could use that to conduct electricity and then run it run the current through it, yeah. She's gonna get a shock. You're lucky that has enough energy to kill her, otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, see, now the vines are gone. The children are free of you. But they have no adults to, like, take care of them now. Yeah, that's kind of, that, you, you feel like they kind of die. Yeah. So, mother, how's your current situation? Oh, my jeez. What a mess. That it's would smell awful. Uh, you'd imagine. Oh, I guess, I guess horrible since... bloated plant gas sack just got exploded. And it's fried too. Yeah. Ugh. I was it gonna go back kid. and talk. I was gonna go back to talk to Maria, and then but she's right here, so they oh, saved me the trouble. Now that mother is destroyed, the children are slowly returning to normal. That's not how it works. Oh. oh. Yes, but where are we going? So now that ends chapter two, and we're back in reality. Max, it's me, Morgan. Morgan Freeman. Oh, right. Dr. Morgan. Yep, so now we're in chapter three. How did huh? Here? Yeah, that's Children this chapter so three. Real. That's just bizarre. Yeah, it is, because like that, you realize how short the sections are if you judge it by chapters. So that's it for this first part. Um, we'll commentate on this uh, next time. Yeah, on... that is a very, very solid opening, I think, for this game. Yes, it is. That was a lot of stuff. Yes, what it is. Bum. Transformers versus. <laughs> oh, come on. I gotta do it somewhere. That fucking random ass <laughs> reference. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so. So next time you'll see the next part to this commentary is uh, the week afterwards. So I uh, hope you're excited and stay tuned for more. Yeah, I'll, I'll be excited to see the end of this. I know that. Yeah, especially uh, since you stopped at one point. But I'm sure you'll enjoy what happens uh, as it goes on. So next week will be... Uh, what's the game that you were planning to do for next week? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Because otherwise, in the meantime, I'll be throwing up uh, Let's Plays of other things. Yeah, so, you can see Betrayer as well, so yes. check that out. Currently, that's what I'm doing. But with that said, I'm Wizard 100, and this is Hitman with me. Stay, Stay tuned for more. more. Oh my God.